When we talk about immigrants, we talk about DACA, 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 talk about DACA, right? The dreamers, they, they came here dreaming for a better life for their children. Really? Well, what if Jorge happens to make it big and, I don't know, invents a longer lasting toilet paper? TAX THAT MOTHER <laughs> The guy just wants <laughs> to punish you. <laughs> The Republican budget has been outlined, the tax plan. We've mm -hmm. talked about the health care plan, now we're at the tax plan, and of course, a lot of people are upset in the left, particularly Bernie Sanders. Here, here's my question of the day. Have you actually looked at the budget? That's my first question, okay? What do you think of the economics? Uh, what do you think of the actual policy? And then Bernie's criticisms and proposed alternative, because a lot of people who watch this show, I know a lot of you were Bernie supporters and then have become either Trump supporters or all-out conservatives, is that you comment, we want to hear from you, let us know what you think. So Bernie Sanders, of course, was upset about it, and he wrote yeah. a piece in The Guardian, which really just reads like a parody of Bernie Sanders buzzwords just like plastered together like a collage <laughs> for a ransom note. <laughs> all different sizes. Yeah, I, 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 that's how I read it in my head. So we'll get to exactly what <laughs> Donald Trump's uh, tax plan is. But first, yeah. let's get to Bernie Sanders, yeah. his, his criticism. So he writes, the Republican budget, which will likely be debated on the floor of the Senate this week. Why did that actually go to real Bernie there? That's not no, right. No, no. Back. Back to Gilbert Godfrey. Is the Robin Hood principle in reverse. It takes from those in need and gives to those who are already living in incredible opulence. Oh, really? Okay. Before we get to the, the solid <laughs> policies, Bernie, can you give us any example of a policy here actively taking something from a poor person literally confiscating their rightfully earned property and handing it to a wealthy person. Is there anything in there to that effect? Nothing? Okay, we'll move on. According to the Nonpartisan <laughs> Tax Policy Center, by the end of the decade, nearly 80% of the tax benefits of the Republican plan would go to the top 1% and 40% to the top one-tenth of 1%. 1 okay, first let's define the top 1%. Mm. The Democrat Party, and of course Bernie Sanders, have wanted to raise taxes dramatically on the top tax bracket. What's that? Any household earning more than $250,000, right? Anyone earning more than a quarter million, that's the top tax bracket. So it's important to, policy-wise, those are the people we're going to be vilifying and hitting. Mm -hmm. Globally, by the way, an income of more than $32,000 puts you in the top 1%. So Oops. Bernie should be comfortable giving away 90% of his income. <laughs> Absolutely. And the top 1% actually pay nearly 50% of federal income taxes in the United States, even though they only account for something like 2.5% yep. of yeah. returns filed. None of this to get to the moral case. This is just being pragmatic here when we're talking about who we're vilifying. I think that's important because you like to think of them as some far off billionaires. No. They count on you thinking of them as some far off They count on you thinking of them. They count yeah. on human greed. Yeah. Over 250,000. We'll get exactly to what Trump's tax plan does in a second, like I said. But first, Bernie's thoughts. This budget cuts Medicaid by more than 1 trillion over 10 years, which would throw some 50 million Americans off of the health insurance they currently have. Further, this budget does what Republicans have not yet attempted to do in their previous health care legislation that is to make 473 billion cut. To Medicare. That's taken from him. Cut. I think uh, he wrote, yeah, A. Sorry, he got that right. I don't <laughs> yeah, want to right. criticize him. It's not fair. This is, a, this is a really important. One third of doctors won't take any new Medicaid patients mm. because the program sucks and they pay a pr just a fraction of what private insurers pay. This is just an example of where the, the left thinks that every problem can be solved by just throwing more money at it, right? Yeah. We all know yeah. that Medicare, Medicaid, it's broken. It doesn't work. Everyone acknowledges the problems. The solution with Bernie Sanders, as you can see, and his, his letter here is just riddled with it in The Guardian, by the way, where he chose to write it, is more money, regardless of how broken it is. Now, where do they get this money? Hmm. Oh, come on, you know. <laughs> the Republican budget would give the richest family in America, the Walton family of Walmart, a tax cut of up to $52 billion by replacing the estate tax, a tax that only applies to multimillionaires and billionaires. Uh, okay. This, this is where it comes yeah, off the rails. This is where it goes <laughs> off the rails. This is, this is just identity Such politics, BS. bait and switch that Bernie does. Okay. So here's what he does first. Names a big billionaire family that is un right. his base right. will undoubtedly love. The Walton family of Walmart. Thanks for specifying. <laughs> Thank you. We thought it was them saying goodnight to each other in yeah. that long shot of the house. The Wal now, we knew yeah. it was Walmart, Bernie. Yeah. Many people are not aware. Also, Apple, they make phones. <laughs> So, 
<laughs> he names a big billionaire family, which you'll associate with estate tax. The estate yes. tax is actually, it's, just, it's the death tax. You've yes. heard of that because almost everybody, when they talk about it, is against the death tax. That's a tax on transferring your wealth to your children. Yeah. Okay? If you make this money in your lifetime, you've already been taxed on it. But if you happen to die and want to give this to your children as inheritance, it's taxed again. And yeah. it starts somewhere around $5.5 million. At 40% rate, by the at way. At a 40% rate. Now, $5.5 million is, is a lot of money, to be sure. Yeah. But it's a far cry from what he wants you to think with, with the wall or any other billionaires who he'll name. Think about that for a second, especially if you look at if Democrats have their, their, their if Bernie has his way, that number is only going to go down and inflation is going to go up, devaluing the currency. Mm. So in about 15 to 20 years, that'll effectively be two, like 2 million today. If someone could start a modest portfolio today someone in, their, could, yeah. in their young 20s and have a million dollars by the time they retire. Oh, much more. Much oh, more yeah. than that. Much more than that. Yeah. yeah, but certainly $2 million, again, if you adjust for inflation. So let's yeah. say, let, oh, let's use $5 million. Let's take someone who starts a business, yeah. okay, gets gets to the point where he's making a quarter million dollars a year. Maybe by the time he's 40, he's married, his wife works a job, they buy, instead of rent, they buy used cars, they save their money, his wife dies while he's 80, he dies at 90 years old, and he wants to pass this on to his kids. $5 million is not unrealistic. No. Yeah. Especially since it includes houses, businesses, all kinds of Everything stuff that you, you won't have. necessarily have as liquid cash. Right. Any, all of your assets are included. And this yeah. is the fundamental difference, too, between the left and the This is important. The fundamental difference between the left and the right. This is why that we throw on this. It's anti-American. The American dream is what? It's to make it big, to create a better life for your children. Everyone came here. When we talk about immigrants, we talk about DACA. DACA, 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 DACA. We talk about DACA, right? The dreamers, they, they came here dreaming for a better life for their children. Really? Well, what if Jorge happens to make it big and, I don't know, invents a longer-lasting toilet paper? Tax that mother <laughs> The guy just wants to punish you because it's based on this assumption that the rich people are automatically horrible human beings. They're bad people, rich or bad, poor people are somehow good. When the fact is, that's not really true. Rich people can be more charitable than sure. poor people. And sometimes poor people can, again, this goes to the collective mindset versus the individual mindset. But the American dream is for your children to have a better life than you. Now, plenty of small business owners could do this. The left thinks that ne there needs to be a cap on the American dream. Everyone else is entitled to that, not your children for whom you built it. Yeah. Do well, but don't do too well. Exactly. <laughs> Just stay right in yeah. there. Right in the don't mediocre range. Don't do as well range. as I, Bernie Sanders, am doing. Right, exactly. <laughs> Third, third house in the lake. Okay. Yeah. Goes on to say this budget says that if you are the second wealthiest family in America, the Koch brothers. Oh, who knew? Walton's your the employer. Koch brothers. <laughs> the Koch brothers. That's right. You will see a tax break of 33 billion. But if you're a working class student trying to figure out how you could possibly afford college, your dream of college education could evaporate along with 8 million other students because of more than 100 billion in cuts to Pell Grants and other student financial assistance programs. Again, identity uh. politics. Koch brothers. Koch exactly. brothers. Uh, anyone yes. over 250,000 household income, they're going to see a tax break. Wall because Street. of how much they're paying right now. We'll get to the tax plan in a second. <laughs> Interesting that he brings up school grants and financial assistance because it's exactly that kind of artificial cost inflation that's made college unaffordable in the first place. I don't have time to go over it. Remedial, go see our previous video on student loans. Here's something, too, that's really interesting with Bernie. Do you notice in his criticism, he substantiates none of his claims. <laughs> All he does is talk to the audience, <laughs> which is a perfect example of his self coined democratic socialism and why it's a scam. So look, look, here we have a collage. Just in this same article, poll after poll tells us that the overwhelming majority of Americans do not want Congress to cut Medicare and Medicaid. Then he says that 60% of Americans oppose slashing Medicaid, according to a recent Quinnipiac poll. Only 12% of American people believe that the wealthy should receive a tax cut, while 62% believe the wealthy should pay more in taxes. The top 1% has been able to rig the political system. Okay, this is the classic. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to add populum <laughs> fallacy? You see this? Bernie doesn't justify his views or proposals no. through data or reality-based research, and he never even mentions the word liberty or freedom, unless it's relate, it relates directly to killing a baby. He doesn't even enter into the equation. Yeah. He simply believes that it's morally acceptable so long as the majority of people would vote for it. You would all want that, right? In a poll? You, you, you'd all... God, they love me! You really f***ing love me! Look at that broad! She loves me! She's making eyes at me! That filthy whore! Paul says she was asking for it. Now, <laughs> there was a majority of... At one point, there was a majority of people who might have supported slavery. Sure. Hmm. In the United States. The Nazis came to power. Democratic slavery. Yep. The majority of people Oops. voted for Hugo Chavez in Venezuela in 1998. <laughs> in Islamic countries, that wife beating is commonly accepted perfectly legal and... Immensely popular. <laughs> also, there are 13 countries where atheists can be executed for their beliefs. 
Wait, majority Muslim. They don't have beliefs. All of them. Well, they can be executed for not accepting the Quran and Sharia law and Muhammad the pedophilia be upon them. So uh, finally, let's get to the plan, exactly what we're talking about. This is it just, he just tosses to the majority, as long as they want it, it's okay. Well, we've defined the 1% as far as policy. The current top tax rate, individuals now, is 39.6% before state taxes. Uh, in Trump's proposed plan, it would go down to about 35%. But President Trump, being so inconsistent as he is, said that there, 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 there may be a fourth bracket where <laughs> people could be taxed more, effectively being 39%. But really, what that means is under the Trump plan, the evil, evil, wealthy 250,000 earners or more, in his case, it might be a little bit higher, they'll be paying 4% less in taxes. <gasps> I mean, they'll keep 4% of what they earn, or in California, Negative 6%. It depends on you have to do the math for your state tax. And by the way, some middle class people will go from 15% down to 12%. So this actually benefits a whole lot great. of people. Uh, then he talks about, of course, the corporate tax rate. And this is something that has always dumbfounded me. Comment yeah. below if you think that I'm way off the beam here. We have the highest corporate tax rate in the industrialized world. Okay, it's over 39%. It's insane. Donald Trump is proposing to cut that corporate tax rate to 20%. Which seems radical to you, but it would really just put us in line with the UK, Switzerland, and even Bernie's beloved Iceland, Finland, Sweden, Iceland. and Denmark. <laughs> yes, Hon Hong Kong has a higher uh, freedom index rating I know. than the US. And they cut off their hands if you make the sneakers wrong. I know, it's a real problem. <laughs> Watch someone factor, that's not true, that's fake news. You know, you're doing well until you said that. They start with the feet. <laughs> It's just, is it how crazy? What, what, what cheap shoes? What buddy hole did I, what space worm hole did I jump into? The Scandinavian countries that Bernie Sanders points to as false examples, by the way, of successful socialism. And even the Danish prime minister said, stop saying we're socialists. Either way, <laughs> the countries he points to as examples of successful socialism have tax rates comparable to the rate that Donald Trump would want to see as a corporate tax rate. And Bernie Sanders claims that it's unfair, that it's monstrous. Now, now why do they do this? Because they know that raising corporate tax rates would encourage business is to leave and they would lose tax revenue, not gain it. So they wouldn't be able to pay for all of their democratic socialism. So what Bernie Sanders wants, right, is all of the socialist benefits, but not even what's required to pay for it, which even in the Scandinavian socialist countries he loves, this is seen as rudimentary economics, would be a business-friendly corporate tax rate, much more comparable to Donald Trump's monsters. For far too long, the 1% have been living high on the hog while they've left the vast majority of us without so much as a pot to piss in. Problem solved! You should have never shipped him that sample mug. Hey, did you like this video? It... What, you didn't? Oh, you're a cat person? Well, that makes sense. Disregard him and or her slash Z. Everyone else, hit the subscribe button and leave your comment below as to why you like this video. Hey, you know what, crazy cat, you can get back, you can, you can comment below too as to why you don't like it.